Hi everyone and welcome to the Nikon D500 V's Z6 dynamic range test. In this video we're going to look at three images taken from each camera. One shot at three full stops under exposed. Just hang on, I'll just click this now because it's not behaving. One, three full stops under exposed. One, four full stops. You will see that here. And then one, five full stops. Um, so we'll do that now. So we'll press the compare key. We'll move across to the Z6. So if you look now, we've, we've shot at 25th of a second, F4, ISO 100 on both cameras. Now, I know that it's a Z6 on the left, but obviously it wasn't shot by a Z6. So the Nikon D500's images are on the left. I know that it's a Z6 on the left, but there was a bit of confusion next time, uh, last time. Then the Nikon D500's images are on the left and the full frame camera Z6 images are on the right, not the camera itself, the images. So with that being said, we'll look at, and the settings are identical. Now the raw files, they've not been touched. All I've done is whip them into Lightroom and add the three and four and five stops exposure onto them. Um, obvious, well not obviously, but on the right hand side, we do seem to have a brighter exposure from the full frame Z6, but th there's not much in it, so I've just left it. So I'll just um, dim the lights, and we'll zoom in, and we'll take it. So we'll just have a look here, and as we can see, and as we probably thought, there is a little bit more noise on the image taken from the D500 on the left. I will repeat again, it's not the D500 camera, it's the image on the left. This is the last time I'm going to say it. And you can clearly see, well, you can't clearly see, to be fair, there's, there's really, it's a negligible difference, but I can see it on my computer that there's a slight difference, but it is really slight. And so I'm going to give that not far off of a tie. So I'll just turn the lights back on. We'll now change to the four full stops under exposed. So this is a 50th of a second and a 50th of a second as well from the Z6. So don't forget Nikon D500 image on the left. Zoom in, dim the lights for it so we can have a good look. Again, it's a very similar difference. It really isn't. I mean, let's just have a little look around this camera. Let's have a look around. I mean, obviously there's a depth of field difference. The full frame has got slightly better depth of field, but I mean, having a look here, the Z6 is slightly better, but the D500 is doing an absolute fantastic job considering it is a crop frame camera and the Z6 is a full camera. So I'll just turn the lights back on. We'll now go to the last and final image from both cameras. Oh no, let me just go here, sorry. Oh God, let me just take the compare key off. So we've now got the last one. If we just press the develop, we'll see this is five full stops. This is the D500 image. I'll now press the compare key and we'll just move across to the D5, to the last image, one one hundred of a second, F4, ISO 100, uh, I'll just press the compare key again. Uh, we'll just check we're on the same images. These are now five full stops underexposed. D500 image on the left taken by the D500. Turn the lights off. Let's zoom in and have a look again. The Z6 is winning it, but I'd say maybe be 10% or something like that. They've both done a phenomenal job. I'll just turn the lights back on. I'm now going to take the compare key off. And just before I end the video, we're going to now look at, I'll just dim the lights. We're now going to start at the beginning. This image is taken from the Nikon D500. Three full stops underexposed. I'll go before. Um, that's a D key. I'll have to take the lights off, I think. Um, this is not going to work. I'll go. God. Develop. We'll go before and after. Right, hang on, let's we're on there. We'll get there. So this is three full stops underexposed, D500. I mean, look at that. Really is doing a brilliant job. If I press full screen, I mean, I'm on a 27 inch iMac and that looks like I took it like that. It doesn't look like it were really dark. I'll now move across to the next image, which is four full stops. 
I mean, look at that. It just looks like ISO 100. There's no reason why you couldn't expose for the sky, underexpose your image on your camera, three stops at ISO 100, and bring back your shadows in post. That really is phenomenal from a crop frame sensor camera. Again now, five full stops. I mean, look, look, before. It's near enough pitch black. Bring it on. We'll go full screen. Five full stops. What do you think? Um, I'll just quickly go do the full fr uh, the full frame camera bit of cut. What's going on here? Why we're black and white? So this is the full frame camera. Um, three full stops underexposed before, after. Press the full screen. I mean, I can't really see any difference to be honest, unless we pixel peep. Uh, four full stops, full frame camera now. Z6 taking a picture of the D500. Full frame, it really is a negligible difference, but I will give the win to the Z6 only slightly. Right, we've got another few videos going to come up after this one today. We're now going to look, If I don't know if you can see this, but we've also got another five images here, and we've got another five images here, which you've not seen yet. They are going to be the IISO performance, which will follow this video straight away in a different video. Thanks for watching. Please comment and subscribe.